it's Miss Daphne. Welcome to Little Einstein's. Let's go take a trip. talk about chemical changes. For this one, we're going to guess the color. Now, this is what you're going to need. Vinegar, baking soda, and food coloring. So I put food dye in every little tin and combined other ones to make different colors. Next, we're gonna add baking soda on top of it. And then we're gonna have a little guest come with us. Hi, my name is Bubby. <laughs> and today we're gonna guess the color. Now. Today, we go get the color. Yeah. So you're gonna take this, the vinegar, and put it right here, mamas. Then you're gonna grab the spoon and you're gonna put one spoon in each of them. But before you do, you have to guess the color. What color do you think this is gonna be? Um, blue. Okay. Blue? Okay. Ready? Give me help. Whoa. Whoa. Keep pouring. Coming. Which one do you think this one is? Blue. Blue? Do you just like the color blue? Yeah, because I got that one also. Oh, I think you might be right, Mija. Okay, let's example of a chemical change would be making cookies so you take all these ingredients and for our example we're going to do snickerdoodles you take the ingredients which are seven and you mix them all together and they create a cookie flour butter two eggs milk sugar vanilla and baking Dead soda is to cream the butter A little bit at a time. Okay, next, you get the batter out of the fridge after it's been cooling for 15 minutes, and then we're gonna roll it into little balls and put them in this sugar cinnamon mix, okay? Don't forget to preheat your oven to 375 and have an adult with you, okay? So you're going to scoop some up and you're rolling into the ball. After you get a semicircle or a full circle, you grab it, you throw it into the mixture, and you roll it up until it looks like this, okay? After that, you put it on the pan, and there should be spray oil on it, or you can use coconut oil so it doesn't stick to it, okay? Okay, after you put it in the mixture, you want to grab your ball and squish it and coat it with the cinnamon and sugar. After that, you're going to put it on your parchment paper, your aluminum foil. And you continue this until they're done. They should be done after 15 minutes or so. Once you're done, your cookies should look like this. But if you want to add more sugar to it, you can always dip it back in here into the spices. And it should turn out like this. So I need nummy. You 
guys next week.